Hey everyone, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. And today I want to get before the sun sets, and it uh, does actually set quite quickly before you even know it, the sun will be setting. Uh, quickly I want to do stuff with you guys, I um, want to build a vehicle of some sort so that we can travel around. So what I want to do is just off camera go to different places that um, are interesting or whatnot, collect some resources. Uh, I have moved everything inside, which is all fine and dead. You've got a toilet, you know, toilet, toilet. And I was thinking of taking that light and that light along with me. Um, yeah. So I got a couple of things. I've started with farming, found another bucket somewhere, started farming. And um, yeah, it's all good, fine and dandy. We got about extra tomatoes over there and more seeds and things. And lucky for us, just around this corner where this pipe is going, right there, I don't think you guys could, might be able to see it, but there is water over there. I planted some soil there, and I can farm there quite nicely. Um, you know what? Let's go inside. If it gets dark, it gets dark. It is fine. We'll just do this. So, uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and crafted up a few more bearings. We had two. I crafted up four more. Two more tires, a scrap engine, and a scrap driver's seat. Now, I don't think this is going to be the world's most fastest vehicle, but it's going to be the world's, this world's only vehicle. <laughs> and, you know, you, you got to be happy with what you get, right? So let's do that. And uh, let's see, if we go ahead and two wide, three wide. Yeah, because that's one, two, three wide. And I'm just going to come out some. And let's go ahead and pop this guy in here. Okay, so it is an odd shape, sort of. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Just like that. I'm looking so forward to this. Okay, so there we go. Right, so we've got some sort of vehicle ready to go, and I think I said previous episode, um, the best thing about the scrap seat is, I think that, which is, in, indicates the um, dials or speedometer or whatnot, <laughs> like, yeah, we're going super fast, according to this, and the little bell over there, like, it's really a piece of crap, this thing, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Now, let's go ahead and add... Some wheels. There's not going to be any suspension or anything, unfortunately, because we're not at that level of, um, you know, you know. Let's take that off. We are not techni technologically advanced enough to have suspension. There we go. Now, what I want to do is actually, actually, go down here. Plop one in there and plop one in there. No. Because this is the very first time. This is me <clears throat> trying to fi figure things out on the fly. Yes, I have watched a couple of YouTube videos. Um, but I feel like this is like... I know how to, everything sort of works. Let's just go ahead and do that and that. There we go. But I kind of want to figure things out for myself as well. So like that, like that, that, and that. So these four bearings are going to be telling the wheels to turn. You can actually add any block to it and it will tell it to turn. There we go. And let's go ahead and put up the um, other wheels. So let's go ahead with number five, number six, and number seven. There we go. Oh man, look at that. She is beautiful. She's beautiful. Really beautiful. All right. Now that is all done. Let's go ahead and add the anjon. So down you go. And I can jump on you. Yes. How big is this? Oh my goodness. It's like a little two stroke engine. Well, it looks like it suffered some sort of a stroke because it has the tennis ball thingy right there. Now I did go ahead and also craft up this connector tool. And yeah, okay, so this bearing 
goes there. And this one goes there, because... Hmm, yeah. Because it's got to be a front-wheel drive vehicle. The best vehicles, in my opinion, sort of is the um, front-wheel drive versions. Rear-wheel drive is just more for, like, show-off or whatever. <laughs> and I think it has to turn from right to left. And this side is from left to right. Okay. So that is fine, that is fine. And this goes there. And this goes there. Okay. And let's go ahead and pick this up. And let's get on it. Uh, okay, so it is inverted. Okay. Change. Change. There we go. Okay, so what's what's different? Oh, if I press right, it goes right. If I press left, it will invert. Okay, okay, okay. Now, and I think if we look at this engine, I think it can only, yeah, it's, it can only reach that amount of connections. Um, I don't think this connects there, does it? Lol. <laughs> All right, that is funny. But let's go and grab some gasage. Oh man, I'm super excited for this. So let's just grab some gas. And you know what I want to do? Go ahead and grab these things. And I want to grab that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? What is that? And let's go ahead and put some sort of storage on this some sort of storage there we go now we have some storage and we have a vehicle let's go ahead and pop that in there um yeah let's test this out did it fart i think it farted when it started <laughs> Oh, and the box is off by one. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. The speed. The speed is immense. Oh my goodness. And it will rock and roll like this. Uh, be a super bouncy and everything. Because we don't have any shocks applied. But still, it's... it's. Uh... Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's get off. How much fuel did I use? Oh, did it, did it really use that much? Oh, no, no, no. It can only accept 10 fuel. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's pump it all the way to the max. I like to do that. <laughs> that fart sound. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at us. Going. Oh, we can enter the Formula 1s with this vehicle. Look at me drifting. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best thing ever. Oh, oh my goodness. I would not depend on this to take me to a hospital. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I am going to do is, first of all... Um, there we go. What I'm going to do is I am going to attach a couple of headlights to this vehicle and then I'm going to go to different interesting areas, points of interest or uh, structures or whatnot and I'm just going to farm things there and see what else we can do I want to collect as many things as possible while we're there and um, you know structures to have uh, or, or building blocks to build a base at some point but yeah, you guys sit tight, I will be right back all right, welcome back. So, I have been out in the boot, as my Canadian friends would say. And I have amassed quite a lot of things. So there is a lot of wood. There is a bit of scrap metal. There is these guys and these things. And a couple of lights in here. 
uh, tried to set up a lamppost and they are not good <laughs> at all. So in here, as we can see, I have also been doing some of this circuit board boarding. There we go. So that's a lot. There's some honeycomb stuff. In here is our components. Um, I think that's oil and these are chemicals, soil, um, seeds, buckets, milk, flesh, uh, gasoline, and yeah, a bunch of other things. It's not much, it's not much, but I think, um, mm, yes, yes, let me talk to you guys like this. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's, it's not much, but I think it will get us going. Oh, I've got some glass somewhere. I don't know where I got that. And I wanted to do things in here, but then I remembered, like, every time when I log back into the game, there's a bot waiting for me. So over here, we've got our little buddy. What's up, dude? Yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, quickly want to get into a bit of the farming stuff with you guys and to talk about what is going on. Plus, we're to find some oil and glue or glue clams for instance okay that and the way i just did that is i held in right click and move to the side easy as that super efficient number one i'll, I'll try to sound like very cliche but yeah and luckily you get your seeds back and i think you get like one to two times or something uh yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind. I don't care much. But the great thing is, is you get actually your seeds back in larger quantity. So once you find the one seed, like maybe banana or something, you can grow it and you get two seeds back at least. And then two to four and four to eight and blah, 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 blah. It varies, I think. But let's go into the water. I'll show you guys real quick. Let's go, go down into this, uh, this place. And, um, okay, so these guys, it's these clams that they smash it open. There's one. Smash up these guys, and they will give you your glue clam prize. There we go, glue clam. Lovely. And, um, okay, so, you see these? Usually there's like a bubble on top of them. That is where you get your oil. And unfortunately you have to dive deep in order to find them. I don't know if they respawn. I think they do. If if they do, that is amazing. Because need air. Playing too much Subnautica. <laughs> um But yeah, there's nothing I cannot really pick from here. You know, uh, I've done it's done already. So I don't know if there's a respawn to it. There might be. I have not seen it before. I'm waiting on other videos to see if there is a farm or some sort to get going. Not something. I just don't know what that was. But yeah, look at this. It's got a bubble of some sort, like weird bubble. And over here we got two clams. Over here and over here. Beautiful. And then there's some oil over there. Let's quickly get this clam. And go for air. Uh, that's fresh. I don't know about you guys, but in games, when I, like, am underwater, and everything just becomes, like, super intense, it's some sort of a relief or feeling, feeling of relief when your character actually gets some air. Whew. Sometimes that can get really intense. Anyways, um, yeah, it is getting a little bit dark. Damn it, why did I decide to start the video now? Luckily, you can get to see the bots and everything in the distance now. All the green ones. And they're the fun ones. I really like smashing their green little faces into a pulp. But, yeah. Okay, so with the um, whole thing about... The farms, all right. It's not really that hard to do. Um, there is like a little defensive thing you have to do if you're farming. 
I, I, I keep hearing those. I swear I'm in the middle of the freaking Haybot spawn, like, conglomerate or whatever. Like, they like it to be here. I am gonna grab those beads. Actually, I already have, like, a ton. I'm gonna grab those. And that's it. Okay, I wanna actually want to make a fifth bucket. Because that is super helpful. Maybe in the future I want to try to get some... Where's that light coming from? Is it this one? That? Must be that. That light. Yeah. What I want to try is just to up the um, lighting or whatnot in the video editing. Just so we can see better. I mean, I can gr bring the car around, but... Yeah, that's going to take some time. Because that's not the best car in the world. That much I can tell you. So let's go ahead. And... <laughs> let's just like smash it into the ground. Now here's a little trick. You see there is one plot over here and there's another plot over here. I think if you stand to the side, you aim just a little bit below like the center line between the two. Just a little bit below it. Well, I think it's random. But you get you can actually get two plots. Two soils. Wait. Okay, that one missed completely. And let's go ahead and do this one. There we go. Let's do this. Beautiful. I want to get a water farm set up real soon. Um, I actually turned down the foliage. So I can see the plots a lot better. I would suggest doing you guys do the same thing. So you can see your soil. Okay, let's see if we can do this again. Okay, that did not work. I know it's like you have to stand to the side or something. That did not hit anything. It's sort of like sides uh, a skew way. Mm. I wonder if we stand on top and aim uh, directly in the center of it. Nope. <laughs> that did not work. No, give me that. Why did you plant it water? <laughs> plants cannot grow underwater. Okay, maybe certain plants can, but not all of them. Okay, like that, like that. And there is a loss. But believe me, guys, I've, I've done it before, and it actually worked. Just standing on the side and just... Um, just water everything in the way. But I think you need to... Do a little bit of a distance. Let's try that. Wait. I am experimenting here. Please give me some love, peace, and quiet. Um, that also didn't look like it didn't hit anything. And where's all my water gone? Hmm. Okay. Well, that just went over, but it did splash that dude. Okay. Try this. Okay, um, try it from this side. Nope. Maybe like, hmm. If I stand here, I throw it to the cent centermost one. I am aiming at directly at that plant right now. No. It, I'm, I aim for this one, it hit that one. Weird. Oh, there we go, there we go. Did it. So it's sort of like this, this sort of distance from this angle and aim in between the, them. That's what I figured, you know, that's, that's kind of what I've noticed. But yeah, I think this video has gone long, <laughs> way too long for my taste. And uh, yeah, thank you so much everybody for all tuning in to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.